let's work on a more complicated example. Uh, let's assume uh, a drilling project. Uh, the least cost would be $100,000 at time zero. Uh, that will be paid for all the cases. Then we will have the $500,000 of drilling costs at uh, year one. Again, this cost is uh, paid for all the cases. After we paid this $500,000 of drilling costs, we get to the uh, completion uh, point. At this point, there is 60% probability that uh, well logs are good enough to complete the well, uh, which is going to cost $400,000. And there is 40% uh, failure that they don't look good enough. And we need to uh, close the wells and pay the abandonment cost and so on. So in case of uh, the 60% probability, let's call it success case, we will uh, pay $400,000 more in the same year, in the year one, uh, for a completion cost. In this case, we will face three cases. Uh, one case with probability of 50%, we will uh, have a producer will, which is going to uh, produce $450,000 per year of income from year 2 to year 10. Uh, the second case, we are going to have 35% uh, probability of a well that is going to generate $300,000 per year uh, from year to, you, to year 10. And we will have 15% uh, probability of uh, that the well completion being so unsuccessful and we will have the salvage uh, value of $250,000 uh, uh, produce, for producing uh, equipments at year two. So we can summarize the information here. Uh, there will be $100,000 of lease cost for all the cases at present time and there will be uh, $500,000 of drilling cost at year one for all the cases. And uh, then we will have 60% uh, of probability of uh, getting uh, to the completion. In this case, we pay another $400,000 at year one. And uh, if uh, with 40% probability, if we don't uh, complete the well, we need to pay another $40,000 of cost as uh, present uh, at year one. So in case of the 60%, we will face three new cases. 50% probability that generates $450,000 from year two to year 10. In case two, 35% uh, probability of generating $300,000 from year two to year 10, and 15% probability that uh, we don't uh, uh, end up generating any money, uh, any uh, gener producing well. Uh, and we have just a salvage of salvage value of $250,000 at year two. So decision tree is a very helpful uh, graph that can help us separate the uh, possible uh, cases here. Um, so I will explain this uh, in this graph. So we start from left hand side, uh, initial investment of uh, for the lease at the present time. Uh, we write the cost or income here and in front of that we write the probability. So this probability is 100% because it is, it is the same for all the cases. At year one, we spend uh, $500,000 for drilling. And then in this case, we are going to have two branches being deviated from the main branch. One is the 60%, uh, let's call it success here, 60% of success and 40% of failure. In case of failure, we are going to pay $40,000 of uh, closing cost, abandonment cost. 
In case of uh, uh, in in case of success, sixty percent, we will face another three cases. So we 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 pay uh, four hundred thousand uh, dollars. In, in case of uh, success, we will pay another four hundred thousand dollars of uh, completion cost. This one plus uh, is because to, to show that uh, this is this ha this is the same year as this year. Th th these are happening in the same year, but uh, because uh, these uh, these uh, um, cases are deviated from the uh, main branch, we draw another uh, branch for this to separate these from the main branch. So 60% of failure, 60% of success, we pay $400,000 of uh, uh, completion cost, and we will have three new cases in uh, the in, uh, after. So there is a 50% chance, there is a 50% probability that we will earn 400. $50,000 from year 2 to year 10. So years are here, so every value that has under the same column has the same uh, uh, year uh, dimension. Uh, we have 35% of uh, um, uh, getting uh, $300,000 from year 2 to year 10, and we have 15% uh, probability that we get only two hundred fifty thousand dollars of salvage at year two. So as we can see here, we have four main cases here: case A, case B, case C, and case D. So the first step to approach this uh, problem and calculate the expected NPV is to calculate the probability of each uh, case. So in order to calculate the probabilities of each case, we go back to the decision tree. We start uh, uh, from the right-hand side for each case. For example, for case A, so I start from the right-hand side. For example, case A, I, move, I start moving from right-hand side to toward the left. Uh, I have a 50% probability here and uh, go to the main branch. I have 60% probability here and I have 100% uh, uh, probability here. So I will multiply. I start moving from right-hand side along each branch and multiply whatever to the left and I multiply the probabilities that I see on the way. So here, I have a 50% and 60% probability uh, and a 100%. So I will multiply uh, 50, multiply 60% uh, probability and 100%, which, which uh, has no effect. So the probability of A is 50% uh, multiply 60%. B, the probability of case B is 35% uh, multiply 60% uh, and multiply this 100 which has no effect. Uh, case C, uh, probability of 15% multiply 60% and case D, uh, probability of 40% uh, multiply 1 which is going to be 40%. So I calculate the probabilities for case A, case B, case C, and case D. In the second step, I draw the timeline and I separate the cases uh, from each other. Uh, the first row, I uh, write the probabilities. Uh, case A, uh, there is a $100,000 uh, uh, lease cost at, year, uh, at present time. Uh, drilling cost at year one plus uh, four hundred thousand uh, dollars of completion costs. You remember this. This was uh, uh, in case the well logs uh, look good. So the, this four hundred thousand uh, dollars happens in the same year. A, and case A is uh, um, 
going to generate $450,000 from year two to year 10. Uh, case B, uh, $100,000 of lease costs, plus $500,000 of drilling, plus $400,000 of uh, completion costs. Uh, these are happening at, at year one. The lease cost is at year zero. And the income from year two to year 10. Case three. Case three, the lease cost, uh, the drilling costs, and uh, the, uh, the completion costs uh, of $400,000 at uh, year one. And I'm going to have just the salvage of $250,000 at year two, and the income for other years is going to be zero. So in, in case of uh, case D, which, which uh, I call a failure case, I pay the lease cost at present time, I pay the drilling cost at year one, but the well logs are not looking good enough to, to pay the completion cost. So I will just close the well and pay the uh, abandonment cost of $40,000. So now that I have this table that uh, calculating the expected NPV for each case, I calculate the, the NPV and I multiply that by the probability and I make a summation over all the uh, so here uh, you can see this is the, equ the equation for the for case A uh, for to calculate the uh, NPV uh, this is the least cost at present time doesn't need to be discounted uh, this is the summation of $500,000 of drilling cost plus $400,000 of uh, completion costs and the four hundred fifty thousand dollars of income from year two to year ten which they are nine equal series of in, um, uh, income payments and uh, I need to discount these for one year because they start from year two and the, the NPV for case B case C and case D Please note that the salvage is happening at year two for case C, so I need to discount that for two years. And I write the NPV for each case in uh, the last column. I uh, multiply the probability by the NPV and I for each case and I wrote that to in this column. And the summation of all these values here is going to give me the expected NPV for this project. And as you can see here, uh, it is going to be about uh, minus $50,000. And uh, the conclusion would be because expected NPV is slightly uh, negative, is slightly uh, less than zero, uh, we can uh, s conclude that this project is not very uh, economically satisfactory.